Hey Cancer, how are you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm bringing you your general tarot reading for the month of April 2024 for my Cancers out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to take a look and see what messages are coming out for you guys in love, romance, and partnership. Um, if you're looking for a personal love reading, Cancer, you certainly could go to my website, go to Etsy, um, book a reading there. I do have a sale going on right now for April. Um, check me out. Yeah, I'm going to start off today with the barely existing Oracle deck. You guys know I design, create, make my decks, and I sell them on my Etsy platform shop. Um, so yeah, check me out if you guys are a tarot or fellow um, Oracle card reader. Cancer, let's take a look like share comment and subscribe let me know how this resonates for you and also let me know how long you've been subscribed to my channel i thank you all each and every one of you for being here and um let's get right into your reading <laughs> messages for cancer's highest and greatest good what is going on what is the challenge Ooh. i'm gonna take this card okay we have greed and selfishness so some of you guys are dealing with an incredibly greedy person and they're selfish right and that could be one of the issues that you're facing right now with this person i almost feel like um this can also be like someone else like outside of the connection is someone like i'm getting like even jealous of what you got going on i feel like they want your person to themselves maybe they want something to themselves i'm getting just like overindulgent um and then we have a vulnerability a card vulnerability issues so there could be someone that you're dealing with okay cancer your person of interest who is afraid to be vulnerable right they're afraid to let you in they're afraid to open up they're afraid to go deep i'm getting the emotional um depthness of the connection has not been created because of your person okay so let's take a look i'm getting someone's afraid to be naked and raw like raw right um so let's take a look not naked as in like your clothes off but naked as in like their true authentic self letting you see all of them right their imperfections and all flaws and all okay let's take a look messages for cancers okay in a recent past cancer what happened In a recent past, we have the sun in reverse. This could be a Leo that you're dealing with. We have the ace of swords and the hierophant. So in a recent past, there could have been a very important conversation or dialogue regarding commitment, okay? What you may ultimately want regarding commitment. I feel like for some of you, you got into a commitment with someone, okay? But I feel like they were like, uh, you lay in the ground, right? Making sure this person knows what you expect cancer maybe regarding a relationship maybe what you uh your values right pertaining to commitment maybe even marriage now with the sun in reverse someone here may have not seen like the future okay i'm feeling like someone was questioning their future with you cancer there could have been a situation of a family dissolving or some kind of breakdown within the family or the home or you know i feel like there was a marriage here or some kind of commitment but the sun in the verse is suggesting there was some kind of unhappiness someone here was in the dark someone here could have been um, i'm getting blinded right to where things were going to go moving forward this can just be a leo as well right some of you guys are dealing with the leo but i feel like there's the energy of just someone not really seeing a future forward or way forward right so we're gonna see you know so in a past communication regarding commitment let's take a look at the current energy now i almost feel like someone communicated that they're not happy okay yeah that's what i'm seeing because someone pulled away now with the page of wands in a verse with the queen of wands and the eight of cups in a verse some of you are dealing with a fire sign or even any person and it feels like they stopped trying they stopped showing up for you with the page of wands in a verse there could have been a situation where you expected them to move forward and they were moving in a different direction for some of you they were moving toward a queen of wands maybe a third party so this could have been a situation out you know that you caught your person in you were blinded by the fact that they had another a uh, third party that they were dealing with okay and that's kind of what i'm feeling with the sun in reverse you could have felt like you were in the dark regarding this person's doings and with the eight of cups in reverse it's, it's suggesting that this is someone that's kind of in and out some of you cancer you're afraid to emotionally connect with this person 
not because you don't love them, right? You, you care and you love them very deeply, but I almost feel like, you know, you're afraid to go deep because maybe they haven't opened up to you in that way. So there's an energy of like moving away and then um, emotionally detaching and then also wanting to return. Someone here wants to return back to you, Cancer. Okay, some of you, you walked away and they want you to return back to them. Um, but I just feel like the effort hasn't been there. They haven't shown you that they're determined to move things forward. Maybe they haven't shown you that they truly desire you, right? Especially in the past, if you were unhappy, the sun in reverse, right? You were unhappy about a situation or unhappy in a marriage. Someone may have communicated they're unhappy in a marriage. Now, when I look at your person's energy, Cancer, we have the Ten of Swords with the Knight of Wands, okay? And a Knight of Pentacles, someone is single for you for sure. And a Queen of Cups in a verse, so that's you, right? So there could have been an ending, a really difficult, painful ending with the Ten of Swords. It could feel like a betrayal. It could feel like something here like happened out of nowhere. You didn't see it coming. I'm feeling blindsided for sure with the Sun and, and the Ten of Swords, okay? And it feels to me like you and your person are kind of trying to figure out like what's the next step. Now, Cancer, your person does want to make a move towards you. That Knight of Wands is suggesting they're wanting to come in uh, with desire, with passion, with action, right? They may be willing to put in some effort, especially if you and them are like single, separated, Knight of Pentacles. I also feel like this is someone that's working on their money, their security, their stability. Give me the Queen of Cups in reverse. What's the energy toward that Queen of Cups energy? Yeah, Six of Cups. So the energy toward you as the Queen of Cups, because you are the Queen of Cups. And some of you, you have emotionally tried to cut off this person. Maybe you've taken a step back because you don't want to get hurt, right? There's a protective energy here. Um, and I feel the Six of Cups in reverse is suggesting your person wants to reconcile, but they just don't know how. Your person recognizes that they may have left off on a not so great note. And that Six of Cups in the verse is suggesting that, you know, they want to come back. They want to reconcile, but it may not be that easy for them, right? So, yeah, I think Cancer, your person is wanting to connect. They still care for you. They're they're feeling that ending um, or, or whatever they did, right? They are feeling that very strongly. So this is someone that is very much affected. With that Ten of Swords energy, right? They're affected by some kind of ending between you and them. They want to take action and maybe even like move away from, you know, some kind of new status between you and them. Like, you know, if they're newly single or something, they want to move away from that now. Okay, give me the energy of the outcome. Ten of Wands in reverse. We have the Knight of Cups. I love it in the Seven of Swords. So there's some kind of strategizing toward making an offer in love. Someone here wants to pursue you with this beautiful Knight of Cups energy. Um, that's the energy of like wanting to express one's love, right? So this is your person wanting to express how they feel, wanting to connect with you on the emotional level. And the Knight of Cups is taking action. So with the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups coming on the outcome, I almost feel like your person is definitely going to make a move towards you and they're actively working on how to do that, right? Because the Seven of Swords is that strategy energy, trying to figure out, coming up with the game plan. And it's coming up with a game plan on how to overcome a difficult, burdensome situation, tens or endings in tarot, ten of wands in a verse, suggesting leaving the burden behind, like moving past, right, a situation that has ended. So, yeah, I feel like your person recognizes it's not going to be easy, but they're definitely willing to take action toward that, okay? Moving, moving away, um, recovering. Let's take that. My clarification deck and get some more clarity for my cancers out there cancer sun moon rising venus you could be a cancer your person could be a cancer for some of you I'm, I'm feeling like they were selfish in the past you know maybe they just wanted to just do their own thing the sun reverse maybe there was an energy of like them not wanting to come together for some reason or not seeing i'm getting a vision okay or not not really seeing a way forward for some reason, but it feels like this was them being greedy and selfish, right? Only thinking about themselves. But I feel like it was much deeper than that. Some of you guys, your person was afraid to open up to you, open up, reveal how they truly feel. And that could be, you know, something they're realizing now and they're wanting to heal and recover. Yeah, three of swords, someone is hurting. And I feel like, you know, hurt people hurt people. So your person could have been hurting, um, you know, I'm getting like they're hurting right now, especially if you're in 
separation but i feel like your person could have gone through a lot of hurt which is brought forth some kind of vulnerability issue okay and it feels like they've hurt you because of that right so that's kind of what i'm seeing here give me the reason past ace of swords hierophant communication regarding commitment and then we have the full card so someone here in a past cancer may have been wanting a new beginning but i almost don't think this person has shared that with you why because the sun is in reverse you may be in the dark about them wanting this new beginning two of pentacles and i'm also seeing the energy of juggling so cancer is your person going back and forth between you and another person have they not made up their mind right regarding who they want who they want to invest in spend time with okay there's some kind of uncertainty and again juggling on and off in and out so your person could definitely be very inconsistent with you and it may have caused a lot of conflict with the five of swords it may have caused a lot of friction drama arguing fighting okay and i feel like there's the energy of your person knowing they have to move forward knowing they have to pick a person but maybe like i'm getting delaying or procrastinating because again there's selfishness right wanting wanting their cake and eating it too for some of you it's that queen of wands it's that third party the current energy is a chariot so there's some kind of victory energy there's something coming in the hangman in the verse and the emperor in the verse so it does look like this could be a divine masculine, maybe a father figure. This could be someone you have a child with. And it feels to me like they are using this time to really think, right? The hangman in reverse suggesting that there's some kind of new insight, some kind of new knowledge that they're maybe coming into, something that they hadn't realized before. They're seeing things from a different perspective is kind of what I'm seeing here. And with that new perspective, it feels like they're wanting some kind of change toward a victory, toward a new opportunity, right? And the chariot is moving forward, full force, taking off. And so that is something that's happening right now, Cancer. And it's because your person wants to come back, right? We have the Eight of Cups in a verse. Someone isn't happy elsewhere and they're wanting to return back to you, back to your life, right? And I'm seeing the energy of like um, recognizing that they've made a wrong decision or made the wrong turn page of wands in a verse maybe made a turn or a decision to go toward a queen of wands and that wasn't the best decision give me the ten of swords and a knight of wands what to expect from this person four of wands this could be a twin flame this could be a family home situation or even a marriage we have the lovers and a knight of pentacles in a verse so it almost it looks like this is someone that wants you to make a decision regarding them, regarding maybe letting them back into your life, letting them back into your home. Someone here may want to re-secure a marriage. They want to take action toward, you know, a marriage of some sort. So maybe you guys are already married and now they want to like renew the marriage. For some of you guys, maybe you filed for divorce and maybe now they're not wanting to um, move forward with that. So there's something here regarding action, movement. And give me the Knight of Pentacles is in reverse. Why is this here? Three of Pentacles in reverse. Someone is definitely feeling like they're not stable and secure in their life without you. I feel like this is someone that may have certainly made things very difficult. Three of Pentacles in reverse where you and this person may have not gotten along on, on a lot of different things. And I feel like your person's now willing to take action toward that and maybe moving in a new direction with you because of that, okay? Because they were so difficult because they made things um, like a living hell. Give me the energy of the Nine of Pentacles and we have the Queen of Cups and the Six of Cups in a verse. So someone wants to maybe reconcile. They are single and they may want to talk Queen of Swords, Seven of Cups. There's some kind of confusion regarding a missed opportunity. So there's a lot of like options here and I feel like Cancer, your person is now wanting to have a discussion, maybe be honest and truthful about a situation where they've lost something of value. They've lost their home. They've lost a relationship. They've lost their marriage. And there's some kind of confusion here they're trying to sort through. Now, with the Queen of Cups here, I almost feel like your person is saying, like, Cancer, I still love you, right? Six of Cups. I want to reunite with you. I miss you. I dream of you. Um, and they could be literally coming to you and saying that. This could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone does not look like they're really happy, single, and kind of like just on their own. Give me what's coming in. Seven of Swords, strategizing. Knight of Cups, pursuing you in love okay expressing their feelings so there's been some kind of big decision head of a heart decision two of swords in a verse with the knight of cups is suggesting that your person's getting out of their head 
right? Finally, letting go of something and making a move towards you, bringing you the cups, bringing you the emotion, the feelings, maybe even going deep, right? So if they had vulnerability issues in the past, I feel like your person is working through these issues because they realize that, you know what, I want an emotionally fulfilling, loving relationship and I need to maybe overcome these vulnerability issues, right? So there's some kind of big decision, two swords in a verse, and it can be overcoming a burden or blockage that they have regarding expressing love and um, showing up in love, right? So that is what I'm seeing, Cancer. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you want a reading, check me out and you guys, I'll check you out later. Bye.